EM Spectrum, a Calculation Investigation Student Worksheet. The first thing that this worksheet asks you to do is to fill in these two magic triangles with these two formulas. Don't forget that the magic triangles, <coughs> pardon me, show one thing over another if you're dividing them, or one thing next to the other if you multiply them. In this first formula, because wavelength and frequency are multiplied, that means they need to go next to each other, which means that leaves C, our constant, which is the speed of light, to go up here in the top box. In the same vein, you'll do the same thing over here for energy equals Planck's constant times frequency. It gives you the constants right here for C, the speed of light, which is this one, and H, Planck's constant, which is right here. So any time that you're doing the math for these problems and you need a number for C, it's right here. If you need the number for H, it's right here. So you'll have your formulas written out in the magic triangles, and then you're going to go down here and fill in the blanks in this data table with the numbers that you calculate using those formulas up above. So actually, let me slide this down a little bit so you can still see the formulas. And I'm going to show you how you're going to do this. In this example, it gives you the wavelength, and you need to solve for frequency. That's the first blank you have. Now, in the last worksheet that you did, you've already practiced doing this. When you needed to solve for frequency, you took the speed of light and divided by the wavelength to solve for frequency. You're going to do the same thing here. Make sure that whatever you're dividing by, you put in parentheses so that the calculator does it in the correct order. So you're going to solve for frequency. Once you have wavelength and frequency filled in for these three, you'll be able to then go on to the energy formula. Our energy formula is energy equals Planck's constant, again is this, times frequency. So when you have all of your frequencies here, all you have to do is multiply them by H, Planck's constant. That will give you the amount of energy in that wave. Here you're going to have to work backward. You have energy and you need to solve for frequency. So again, use your magic triangle here and you're going to be solving for frequency. So just cover up frequency and that will show you what to do with the other two numbers, which will be your energy and Planck's constant. Once you have all these blanks filled in, then it just asks you to figure out which electromagnetic radiation range these different waves would be in. And you're always going to look at the wavelength to determine this. So you can see down here, it, gave, it gives you the wavelength of these different waves. And so it gives you that radio waves are 10 to the 4th to 10 to the 2nd range, uh, microwaves are in about the one meter range, and so on. So it's giving you these different wavelengths. And what you need to do is take these different wavelengths and determine which range, radio, microwave, infrared, etc., those are going to fit into. So look at this, find where that belongs, and put it down. Uh, I know some of them are going to be kind of in between one and another, and that's okay. As long as you've answered one of those two that it's in between, then your answer will be fine. If you still have questions, please come ask.